Hi, this is Susan Levin Tarot, and this is going to be a love reading. But let's see, first, let's start the morning with Sparks of Happiness. <laughs> Okay, whistle, sing, or dance while doing household chores. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the deal, Sagittarius. Okay, so last night I was going to do a reading, but then I decided uh, to do it this morning. And I pulled these cards out, and uh, you got dishes. Digital detox and new job. Okay, so um, some of you have a job and some want a new job. Okay, and some need a job. Okay, so uh, know that spirit is working on that, and um, and then kind of uh, take some time out and feel around. Uh, what the details are but first just kind of feel what does a job that you desire feel like okay and then just start there and um, and then move towards uh, your new job and and what that looks like okay now um, okay so here we go your spark of happiness okay again was whistle sing or dance while doing household chores Okay, now this is, I'm going to share a story with you. Okay, I used to live in a home that didn't have a dishwasher. Okay, so um, I like to cook and of course there were always dishes, right? But I have this thing, right? I didn't want to leave dishes out overnight. So I would wash the dishes, you know, and, and it was just like, oh gosh, I got to do all these dishes and um and that was kind of my feeling you know with, with doing it with uh a certain degree of resistance <laughs> it depend on it depended on the day okay now i went to uh unity temple in uh new orleans and that day um the speaker was talking about appreciating the dishes that you have Okay, so, and she was literally talking, if you take your daily activity and do it with more joy and appreciation, then that could open you up to more things. Okay, so I wanted to share that story with you, and because I really thought it was amazing <laughs> that here I was doing my daily thing, and then spirit was aware of it the whole time. Okay. So, know that whatever it is you desire, spirit's on it. Okay, now, um, okay, so this discipline and screen time, it says for kids. Okay, so if you've been extra strict with kids, if you have kids about screen time, okay, um, then also maybe turn some of that on you and you take a time off. Uh, because, um, okay, for two reasons. The first reason is it will rest your eyes. Okay, the second reason is because <clears throat> spending too much time uh, can, on the screen, <clears throat> can, uh, that's focusing outwards. Okay. So if you take time off the, the social media, then that gives more time for spirit to give you those impulses that you could follow. Okay, is what I'm picking up. Okay, let's dig into new job. Okay, so first off, if you're if you're filling out an application, 
make sure that you are writing in the basic uh, letter form, okay? Um, even if you're like, um, have a handwriting of a, a doctor, you know, like the scribbles or um, an artistic handwriting, okay. Um, just learn how to uh, write the basic letters and then write, fill your application in that form, okay? And that may give you success. Okay, because when I'm, when I, what I see is you, filling out an application, it looks like um, hieroglyphs to me. <laughs> but there's that, wait, hold on, there may be another message in that too. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, I don't, I have, like, when I write cursive and I write really, um, it's like very, uh, either curvy and sharp. <laughs> so I, I try to also stick to basic when I'm doing stuff like that. Okay. Um, okay. Now here's another thing. References. Make sure you are checking into your references before putting them on your application, okay? Um, you could even get a friend to call those people that um, are giving you a reference and see, figure out what the question is, and then uh, online, and then call, and then, um, and then uh, uh, you know, see how they respond, okay? That could be, that's for one person, okay? And let's not, this is not something to, uh, this is something to, uh, okay, so if you figure out that they're not um, uh, a good reference, uh, good is not the word, hold on. If you feel like that reference is not up to par, uh, we can just find another one and leave it. We don't have to get entangled with that, okay. All right, because what we want to do is stay clear, right? We want to stay clear to getting a job that we desire. Okay. All right. What else am I getting? Okay, so I get a new job in California. Seattle, and then like the neighboring, so that, what would that be, like Oregon, okay, all right, so I'm going to leave that, okay, now, okay, let's see, Okay, some people are trying to get out of California. Okay, hold on. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, Austin, Texas. South Florida. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. All right. So, love. Okay. Love. Okay. So, let's see. Love for Sagittarius. Love for Sagittarius. Love for Sagittarius. Okay, and I just picked up, you know, sometimes the job that you desire is something that um, that you do not expect. 
So let's say you have a job online doing stuff on the computer or whatever. Then maybe there might be some other thing that you like. Entrepreneur. Neur, uh, entrepreneur. Uh, become, becoming an entrepreneur. Okay. Your own boss. Okay. And then if you feel like you don't have enough discipline for that, then um, you can also read about that too and how other um, people who, who have um, come up, okay, um, could, um, how other people did it, okay, is a good way to kind of branch off of, right? Okay. Okay, so we start with tapping into your own wisdom. Okay. Um, okay. Following the impulses, like when you get, um, she's standing on books, right? Okay, so if you don't believe in uh, energy and things like that, um, or spirit or anything like that, that's fine. Just move with your gut, your core, okay? And pay attention to your body. And then um, as things come up in your experience, take them. It, and if you, if you have a, a little bit of um, a little bit of a seesaw, then stop and then listen to your body and see what, what your body is suggesting. Okay. All right. Yeah. And so see assessing comes out after that. Okay. All right. Now, okay. Sea turtle. Okay. So love, uh, love seemed slow, work seemed slow, uh, dreams, and some of you, um, I would call, I would say, are late bloomers, okay, and some of you are f fast bloomers, <laughs> okay, um, finding that, that ease and flow and middle balance, okay, in relationships and when you interact, okay. And what I think is here, okay, um, doing something simple, like, okay, let's say you plan a date, okay, you don't have to do a full dinner and all that, you could just, um, you could just do like uh, simple hors d'oeuvres and um, simple hors d'oeuvres, see how those little things look like hors d'oeuvres to me, <laughs> you could do like simple hors d'oeuvres and, um, and, you know, um, maybe like some kind of refreshing juice or something, okay? And um, that way um, you won't feel like you are, you're over giving, okay? And, um, and you keep it light and simple, okay? And um, yeah. Okay, bison. Okay, so some of you might be interested in a Taurus. Okay. Also, some of you might want to balance out the Taurus within you, the, that Taurus energy within you. Okay. Um, okay. So, 
Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Okay. Be open. When you're in conversations with other people, try to be more open in conversation and listen more. And then when someone asks something, uh, when someone asks you a question, okay, try to, you can, okay, you can analyze something without being critical about something, okay? And also be flexible. Okay, so see the bison here? So don't override, or not don't, uh, try working on not overriding what another person is saying. Okay, and surrender to the moment. If you believe in spirit, okay, let spirit move with you and flow. Okay. Reliability. Okay, let me see what that's doing. Okay, so the energy, like if you're doing animal energy, it would be the feeling of a bear mixed with uh, like the goat Capricorn energy okay all right so mm. okay maybe temper your uh, fiery um, of course just do what you want to do but this is just suggestion to if you're single and you want love, then maybe uh, temper your uh, okay. Okay, so what I'm what I was seeing was like a okay a nature where um, you only want to get your way. Okay, so, okay, so flexibility, okay, and uh, being a little bit more uh, compassionate and, uh, and uh, speech, kindness and speech. Okay, so transformation. Okay, so some of you got into a tumultuous uh, relationship, and what you really want is peace. Okay, and I see that happening for you. Um, okay, but also uh, releasing burdens, like your everyday um, thing. What are you holding? Are you worried about uh, money? Are you worried about... Um, getting a new job what are you worried about consistently and then release that okay um, and another way is to um, take action okay and that's where this uh, Wolverine comes in okay take action on the things that may burden you okay um, like for example let me give you an example okay you have a bunch of paperwork to do and you put it off and put it off and so that becomes stress in the body, right? Okay, so instead of that, take action on it and then uh, get it out of the way and then you would feel better, okay? It's something simple like that, okay. Okay, so then you're in a better mood when you go on dates or have interaction with your partner. Okay, the watchtower, okay, so, okay, so, mm, with that I'm getting, some of you are really um, picky, <laughs> and that's okay, that's okay, 
Um, okay, so we want what we want, right? Okay, so what can we do about that? Okay, travel around is what I'm picking up, okay? Um, travel around, but sometimes what you want is uh, can be right in your neighborhood, okay? Is what I'm getting, okay? Now, if you're in a relationship already, um, okay, I see... Um, Okay, instead of uh, instead of looking to the partner and finding uh, things to criticize about, turn that focus on you, okay, and uh, work on things that uh, things that are are important to you. That's what I see because that will keep you out of this fire, this kind of fire. Okay, rhinoceros. Okay, moderation. See. Okay, all right, now. Okay, wanting to feel secure in a relationship. Well, who, we all want that, right? Okay, and loyalty in a partnership. Okay, wanting protection, safety, security, and loyalty. Okay, and... Um, Okay, let's see how I, I can, let me get, uh, let's see, hold on, okay. Okay, well, what I see is that you are offering um, feeling, um, you are offering loyalty. You are offering loyalty. And just keep doing that, and I see that also returning. And for protection, okay, feeling like you either need to guard yourself. Uh, okay, if you guard yourself too much, then that doesn't um, allow room for invitations and things so um uh, open up more is what i would say okay um okay so here's an example okay so find a social group where you could do some sort of artistic thing or craft or even dancing is what i'm seeing here okay like some kind of salsa, salsa dancing thing. Okay, now, doing things like that will free up your energy, okay? And, and then it'll be easier to direct that energy, your energy, into uh, more positive things, okay? And then naturally, um, the after time, okay, oh, and to know that it takes time to gain loyalty and the sense of a sense of security comes from self not in another human so build that up within yourself okay and if you feel like you need to do some martial arts or whatever um, just know uh, that it comes from you okay all right and if you believe in spirit, you can ask spirit for a secure, loyal relationship. You can ask spirit for um, feeling, uh, needing protection. Okay, those kinds of things. Okay, now for singles. Okay, let's see. Let's see who we might be looking at. Okay, let's put this back in here. Let's see who we might be looking at. Okay.
Okay, and loving yourself is so important, right? Okay, so maybe the challenges are the sixth and seventh house. Relating. Okay, relating with other people. Okay, some of you are really social. Okay, but what I'm talking about is the one on one. Okay. Okay, so that could equate to more compassion, more kindness, and in return, that's received. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, singles. Now, you may be attracted to uh, a Virgo or a Libra or air is what I'm picking up here. Let's see. Water sign, Pisces. Okay, yeah, Pisces or a water sign. Is what I'm picking up but those may be the things that you might want to look into balancing within yourself too okay especially mood let's work on mood okay so uh, this could be a cancer but let's work on the mood okay because that's what I'm picking up here okay so you want expansion healing came up so uh, look into healing modalities. Um, okay, but at the core of everything is your dreams. It seems like you're more interested in dreams. Okay, all right, but that's okay. We can bring all that into one and align it all. Okay, so work on, okay, these are the things that could help you pull it in. Work on balancing your passionate nature, like uh, the fire, okay, uh, not too fiery, okay, um, conjunction empowerment, okay, so feeling empowered within self, okay, and working on building up self-esteem and uh, the feeling empowered within the self, and giving yourself credit, you know, when you do something, instead of looking to outside for, you know, the pat on the back, give yourself that pat on the back is what I'm, I'm feeling here. Okay. And alchemizing here, Virgo the alchemist, alchemizing your moods. Okay. That came up when it comes to relationships. And then if you can do that, then you would probably feel more satisfied if you have a partnership. Okay. All right, so healing. Okay, releasing past wounds and not staying active in that by thinking about it. And not thinking about, if you think about it, then you could recreate it into the future, right? Okay, so anything, stay, keep your mind on what is want, what do you want to create in your experience. Okay, so I see dice here and okay, 